Mary is bawling at the tomb. She's so sad because her savior has died and and now his body's missing. And then a, a form comes up behind her. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, Mary said, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him. I'll get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. And Mary celebrates. Her Savior is alive again. And not, not a ghost, not a hallucination, alive. And this is amazing that this is in the Bible. In the first century, women weren't allowed to give testimony at trials. They weren't trusted. They weren't reliable witnesses. That was the thought. And yet God in his wisdom makes Mary the first witness. It's one of those little things that says, look, this isn't made up. If you made this up, you would not put a woman as the first person to witness Jesus. You would make it Peter or John, you know, one of the other heroes of the story, right? But no, God shows incredible love and he says, no. Mary's the first. And just one more piece of evidence that, yes, Jesus really was and is alive.